Hi, my name's Stephen. I'm here to talk to you about this. You've probably seen some of these coming through the door. What this is, this is an American pyramid scheme called the Watchtower Bible and Tract Organization. Um, those of you who know followers of the Watchtower Organization are always, um, always quick to see um, bad things going on in the world. They're always, they relish bad news on the television. Um, they don't celebrate uh, birthdays. They refuse blood transfusions. Um, they don't even celebrate the birth of Jesus. They don't celebrate the birth of this guy here. Um, they don't, don't celebrate Christmas. In fact, their life is hell. They're waiting for the end of the world. They have a terrible life. Um, all these happy faces is front. Um, they, they don't celebrate hardly anything at all. I think the only thing they celebrate is the death of Jesus. I mean, it's a bit morbid, isn't it? Celebrating the death of Jesus um, and not his birth. They're always looking for proof that uh, the world is going to uh, blow itself up any day now and, uh, and that their God is going to step in and save them and uh, let everybody else die. Well, that's what they believe. Um, here now, there's a picture of... Uh, that's how they see the end of the world and all the people that, they, that don't go to their church will be destroyed. So... Um, Excuse me, cat. I've got a cat here. It's been going since about 1800 and something. Um, I say a pyramid scheme because the only thing that's important selling watchtower material and recruiting more people to sell watchtower material. That's all that's important. Nothing else is more important. Now, when someone gets watchtower mentality, there is no reasoning with that person. Um, you cannot have a rational discussion with someone with watchtower mentality. The conversation always goes their way, and it always goes into the state of the world or something like that. The breakups in families, it rips families apart. They point to a verse in the Bible that says brother against brother, sister against sister, and all that, you know, the usual thing that religions come out with when, when they believe they're being persecuted. The leader of the Watchtower Society in the 1920s was a guy called Judge Rutherford. He was the leader of the Watchtower organisation then. Millions now living will never die. Resurrection of the dead soon, millions will never die. This is an early Watchtower material. What they're trying to do is put people against Roman Catholics by uh, to do with the, the Colosseums and the Romans, and um, they would tell stories about uh, identify a group of people called Christians and then say that the Romans used to throw them to the lions and things. Meanwhile, there would be somebody wearing a cross um, and holding uh, dollars. Well, this this was supposed to have happened in um, Roman time things, and they didn't. I'm sure they didn't have dollars and um, and the symbol of salvation then, did they? Here is a page from the Watchtower Yearbook, 1931. It's something to do with them sending a letter of support to Hitler to do with the German government. And this is the leader of the, the Watchtower in the 1920s and 30s. There he is again, with his bodyguards. Judge Rutherford, that's his name. Of course, they weren't always known as Jehovah Witnesses. They were used to be called God's Witnesses. And the God was called Lord. But what they wanted to do is they wanted to corner the market. They wanted some brand loyalty. Um, so what they did is they branded their God uh, with a name. Um, and like for instance you don't drink ordinary cola you drink coca-cola because uh, the only coca-cola is the real thing well they've done that with their god as well they've um, that's the way that they make it exclusive and this is their name for the church at one of the um, church meetings what they do is there is a prolonged exposure to hypnotic language patterns which contain a thing called totalist ideology this is a powerful psychological 